Yeah, what's going on guys? We'll be here back on the Madden 17 and today now this is something I want to go over because I feel like I don't do this enough now today We're gonna to be going over a scheme in the will go fire 3 I posted a blitz on this on the group channel yesterday So if you're watching this on the group channel go check that out It's gonna be in the description below if you're watching this on my channel then go check it out It's also going to be in the description below no matter where you're looking at this It's gonna be in the description below go check it out if you want to see how to run the blitz I'm gonna show you once really quickly and then I'm gonna go over like some adjustments that we can make to make it a little bit better and so on and so forth so first off, we're going to pick a random play. We'll go fire three. So this is what it looks like basic. All you want to do to send in the blitz normally, baseline, wire triangle, or right on the D-pad, pinch the defensive line, left on the D-pad, down on the D-pad, then crash to the left by hitting left on the D-pad, left on the right stick. Now, if they would all just sit in the correct spots, that's what it's going to look like normally. You're going to snap the ball, and you're going to see that the linebacker on the left is going to loop. Well, not really loop, but run straight through the B-gap and get a nice little sack right there. There's also a four-man variant of this Blitz, but it's only available to premium members. So if you want to get the four-man variant of the Blitz, then go check that out. It's going to be in the description below. $15, premium membership, free. Not, I don't know why I would say free, but ebooks for the rest of Madden 17 is only $15. So even after updates and like patches when they're patching Blitzes, we're still going to be going strong, and you're still going to be going strong and sending some heat because you're going to have that premium membership. So now what I want to go over is there's a little bit of a basic mini scheme with this Blitz. Um... So it's it's pretty simple, right? I showed you guys in the other video you could baseline, you know, same setup, and you could move this guy down to the line and send the blitz in a little bit quicker, but the only problem is then people are going to see that he's coming down the line. So you're going to see we're going to move him down to the line. doesn't make an effect, just the blitz comes in a little bit quicker. So the problem with that is whenever you start doing that, people, if you do that every single time, whenever you move this guy down every single time, people are going to know that you're sending that blitz, so they're going to do everything they can to make sure that that blitz is not coming off the left side. So in order to stop stuff like that, what you can do is get a little bit creative. Now let's go ahead and flip the play. Just like that, oh wow, the play actually flips. It, it actually like neatly flips this year. That's actually kind of interesting. Um, so quickly, whenever, whenever we're just gonna, we're just gonna throw it up. We're gonna throw it up and not get teabagged. But uh, say we can flip the play, right? So we flip the play, now we're just gonna do the same setup. So we've got a baseline, Pinch the, de the defensive line, and then crash to the right this time. If everyone would just sit in their correct spots. So, it's going to look something like this. We're going to hold LT, and we're going to snap the ball. And you're going to see that this time, of course, it's going to get picked up this time. I don't. I think it might be because the linebacker over there is a little bit too slow. Um, but you could run it flipped as well, and you can move that guy out there. Like you're going to see, like, if we run it flipped, and we baseline, pinch, crash to the right... Okay, they didn't, the guy didn't baseline. But if we move the guy down here and keep him down here, and then we also move this guy out like that, then it's going to be even on both sides so they don't know which way the blitz is going to be coming in. Oh, sorry, I hit my mic on accident. But so that's what it's going to look like. Now, at this point, you can't tell which way it's going to come in. All you could tell is that this is the user card. The linebackers on either side, you don't know which way the blitz is going to come in. Now, what's really nice about that is then they don't know which side to slide protect, which side to block the running back on, because if they don't block the running back on the right side, the blitz is going to come in. They don't slide protect to the right side, blitz is going to come in. So that's what's really nice about that, is you could really use that to your advantage and throw off your opponents. Just something as simple as that. Now, also what you could do is you could even mix it up and just, you, like, you could come out in, come out and cover two man. Same setup, baseline, pinch, crash to the left, and then move this guy down here. It's holding right there. Now, this time, the blitz is not coming in, but they're going to be expecting the blitz to be coming in. So we could either use this guy and, and cover him, but what I like to do in the in the covers, the coverage is where, like, they're manned up with someone, where a linebacker's manned up with someone. Like, like we have right here, this is my user card, my user guy right here. I'll usually just use her, I'll use her him, and I'll man him up with someone else like that. And then I'll come over here and rezone this guy to, like, the middle blue or something, something along those lines. So in order to do that, you just hit A and then up on the right stick and then A to have him end up with him. And then you just got the deep blue just by hitting A and then up on the D-pad. And then you got this guy and then you could just zone him however you want because you're going to be using him. And that's really nice because then it, even though it looks the same, you're not sending that blitz this time. Now you're coming out in man coverage, but it looks like the blitz. Uh, and that, that could be done with anything. Obviously, it doesn't have to be man coverage. Come out and cover two as well. Baseline, pinch, crash to the left. Same exact thing. 
and then well normally he's going to be standing up here this guy's going to be down here but they all like to move to different spots for some reason because baseline doesn't work so if we're moving that guy over in the blitz then we can move him over again if that's what you like to do mix it up and then then you're not sending in the blitz you know you snap the ball and then you have max coverage across the whole field you just got to do your best to cover every guy and then see right there we get a nice coverage blitz and i know that no one was really open that whole play to be honest i know like i'm controlling that guy and i'm not making a read but no one was really open before the block shed came that's only a four-man block shed um so also you got to keep in mind that you could run at the base way by just by hitting wire triangle and then you know the same base way leave this guy up here you know and you could run it this way as well um which is like the normal the normal way where you're not trying to like confuse your opponents or anything just like that so then whenever you start running like cover two then you don't have them with this guy so moving this guy is completely optional and you can use that to your advantage by moving him sometimes not sending the blitz moving him sometimes sending the blitz and all the above you know moving this guy as well to make sure they don't know which side that the heat is coming on and you got to keep in mind you can also shade underneath like if they're hitting you underneath you know there's quick snap and underneath then shade underneath by hitting a y or a triangle and then down on the right stick and now you have a cloud flat now they're going to play the flats first so if we if they if we try quickly snapping it to the flat then there's going to be um, i couldn't throw it right away of course but if they try quickly throwing it to like a to a flat then that guy is going to come down and play the flats like you would not believe um so that's what's really nice shading, on, shading underneath now you don't have to like before you had to click onto the guy to repurple him or reflat him but now all you got to do is shade underneath and it's automatically going to going to adjust to a flat so that's pretty much how I confuse my opponents. You know, sometimes I'll send the blitz, sometimes I won't. I'll move this guy over. I'll move the other guy over. Sometimes, like, I'll keep the guy standing up here, and then I'll move, like, this guy somewhere else. Like, I just like to keep my opponents guessing, and I don't want to do the same setups every single time. And I'm sure a lot of people are asking, like, how this play works against the run. Like, if people are going to be jamming it down your throats, so, well, let's come out and just a jumbo run because, obviously, a jumbo, you're going to have really nice blocking. Let's come out normally, and I'm going to show you guys what it looks like whenever you just run it normally. So, just going to baseline, pinch, crash to the left, just user this guy right here. And when we snap the ball, you know, we're going to run over there, play the run, and you see that we're going to have people all over there. He's pretty much getting nowhere because they're running it towards the side of the blitz. So let's baseline pinch crash to the left just like that and now this time we're going to flip it and run it to the other side now you're going to see that when you run it to the other side uh we're going to get picked up and he's going to have a huge hole that time we got lucky we got a black shed so if they run it to the opposite side of the blitz we go and get fucked now the way to stop that let's go ahead and baseline same setup as normal baseline uh pinch the defensive line crash to the left so the way we stop that is really simple all we do is pinch our linebackers by hitting right on the d-pad and then down on the d-pad and that's going to pinch our linebackers and move the blitzing linebacker over a little bit and normally it's going to move this guy up too as well in game but in practice mode it just doesn't work like that for some reason and then we're going to flip it to the other side and when we snap the ball this time you're going to see that we're going to get much better block sheds because the the linebacker over the top is going to draw linemen to him so the defensive tackle is going to get double teamed and a lot of times we're going to be able to shoot it untouched but you see we're pulling three guys over there instead of just uh the one guy instead of them usually they'll let that guy come in free but so now everyone is single teams and you're pulling a, a guy up yourself leading the defensive tackle to single uh you know a single block and he's going to come in clean uh so let's go ahead and do it again baseline pinch Crash to the left, pinch the linebackers if they would ever pinch. Man, I hate when they don't pinch. But when you pinch the linebackers, the, the blitz still comes in two, which is what I really like. So let's go ahead, snap this ball, and oh, I, I forgot to flip the run play. Oh my god, who is this guy? Jesus, Jones, who are you? Same play. I could just not be retarded. Pinch the linebackers if they actually want to pinch. Okay, when you pinch the linebackers, this guy is supposed to come over here. This guy's angle is supposed to change. Move them up a little bit. So this is what it looks like whenever your linebackers are pinched. Snap the ball. And I forgot to flip it again. What's wrong with me? Okay, I'm not going to do it again. But you guys get the point. Whenever you whenever you pinch the linebackers, it's really going to help out with the run. And that's just out of single back. You don't even need to pinch the linebackers if they're coming out in shotgun. But if they're coming out in like a formation that they're running out of a lot. Like a lot of people, they just have a formation that they mainly run out of. If they're doing that and they're coming on that formation that they've only been running you on, then just pinch your linebackers. The blitz will still come in if they decide to throw it. You're going to see right here, I'm going to pinch my linebackers, and the blitz is still going to come in if they pinch, 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 pinch. Okay, well, the guy doesn't want to pinch, so we'll just move him over. Usually his angle changes a little bit, so uh, 
We're gonna, I'm going to snap the ball, and you're going to see that he's still going to come in. He's just going to come in through the B-gap. It's going to be a little bit more delayed, but it still definitely comes in, which is great. So that's a nice little scheme for you guys. Now, there's gonna, there's also, like, you could do the same thing with a four-man blitz if you're watching this, you're a premium member. There's sort of the same thing, just a few different things, but I'll make a video for that as well for the premium members. So if you guys like this video, definitely give a like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter. It's going to be down in the description below. Hopefully this helped you guys out. As always, peace.